All right, Sketchpad Podcast, we back. Make sure you like, share, subscribe to the page. So today we're going to be talking about the conspiracy theories that's rolling around, talking about Trump and this was staged or it was arranged or faked or whatever, and we're going to get to the bottom of it. Um, I got some things to say. I has got some things to say. So we'll be back. All right, man, look, if you want us to react to your stuff, link's on the screen. If you want to donate, that's also on the screen. Hey, man, make sure you like, share, subscribe. If we haven't earned your subscription today, please subscribe. You know what it is? Sketchpad Reaction Channel. Go over there if you want some reactions. And we do reactions over here as well, too. So, hey, man, listen. So, let's get to the topic, man. Um. So... The word is going around that people are saying that the Trump thing was staged, right? So it's a couple of different factors I think people got to look at before they make a claim like that. Because there are some people who will say things because it sounds good. You know what I'm saying? Especially like people will say, well, there were a blood packet. Or they'll say, well, um... There's blood, uh, uh, there's, you bite on something and the blood spews out your mouth and all that stuff. Like, first of all, look, let me explain something to y'all. The man was inches away from losing his life. If his head didn't turn a certain way, he would have got his head blown off. That's just about, that's just the facts of the matter. They have the bullet moving in real time. You can't fake something like that. It hit the man's ear. If he would have, if he didn't move, his head would have been blown off on television. That's what people got to understand. You can't, someone aims for your ear. Is this, is this what we, this, is this what we came to now? We're, 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 we're going down this conspiracy theory road that the, so people were saying Trump planned it. Him getting shot in the ear because the guy couldn't have made a mistake and shot him in the head, right? So he literally shot him in the ear on purpose. But he couldn't have had just shot him in the head by accident. Because the ear is right here and the rest of your face is right here. He could have got shot here, 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 here. He got shot here in the ear. He could have got shot in the ear. But he got shot here, knocked a piece of his ear off. But what if, what if, what if the guy made a mistake and miscalculated and then shot him right here in his temple? You know what I'm saying? So when people say stuff like this, it's like y'all always saying that Trump is so stupid. He can't even tie his left foot. He don't know his left from his right. He's dumb. But then y'all on the same, in the same breath say that he's super intelligent he controls the media he knows how to get people to vote for him he knows all these things how can he can't be both either he's stupid and is a bumbling idiot or he's a genius or smart or at least have some type of competency with him but i just don't understand this whole conspiracy thing i think people don't believe in conspiracies unless it's something that they want to believe in there are people who are saying that 9-11 was a conspiracy. I was one of those people back in the day, right? Okay, even if it was a conspiracy, even if 9-11 was an inside job, over 3,000 people died. So if you're telling me that a conspiracy or, or, or a fake can go that far, it still doesn't matter. People still died. And if you're saying, well, mm -hmm. there's casualties, you are an insensitive person. That man that got shot, he lost his life. Said, so, oh well, this was staged and 
there were guys taking pictures and bro listen there's cameras everywhere and when you get when you think that a person i could swear i swear if, i swear on everything if you were the, the same person that's saying this conspiracy any one of these people just name any one of that saying the conspiracy thing if any of them were there with a camera and Trump got shot, they would have took a million pictures. Any one of them, anybody that's, that's talking about this was a conspiracy or this was a, 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 a setup or whatever, anybody, people pull their phones out to watch people fight. I seen a person pull their phone out and watch the baby almost drown in the pool. Didn't want to even save the baby. Literally was watching a baby on the phone. And then the guy with one of a, a dude came and said, yo, bro, won't you help the baby? He said, ain't my baby. But you filming what? the baby in the pool drowning. <sighs> so when people talk to me about conspiracies, most of these people, they don't know nothing about nothing. They don't know nothing about guns. They don't know nothing about gunshots. They don't know how fast a bullet moves. They don't even know nothing. They just be throwing anything at the wall because they don't like Trump. It don't matter. They were willing to let this man get his head blown off on television. And you're telling me that this is a conspiracy or it was just some, oh, he did this. He lined himself up. The man was up in every poll. Why would he do that? Then people will say, well, the reason why is because he knows if he survives, it's more of a chance for him to get what? He didn't have yeah, to do no. that. Mm -hmm. So, so who was in on it? The Secret Service was in on it. Nobody. So everybody who this is my thing. Who was in on it? Who set it up? Did Trump and the guy that shot him? Did they set it up? Did the guy got killed? He got killed. Did he know he was going to get killed? That he didn't know he was going to get That's killed. That's what I'm saying. I'll let you go. Yeah, so, I mean, we had this strong debate at my job today about it. And literally everything that you're saying right now, I explained to them and told them repeatedly. I said, you don't, you cannot stage something like that. You can't stage something like that. Something like that cannot be staged. You understand what I'm saying? Like, why would he won't even want to do that? He was already winning. He was already winning. But now, whoever planned this out, you done guaranteed him a seat in the White House again. You guaranteed him it. You guaranteed him a seat in the White House. Because even if any of them Democrats was not involved, they still, like we spoke about it the other day, even if any one of them Democrats was not involved, they still have to say that this was a tragedy, that the United States is better than this. Why would somebody want to do such a thing? They still have to admit that. And they have to admit their apologies. So at the end of the day, how could this be staged? I literally tried my best to debate this whole thing. Nobody was trying to hear it. So you mean to tell me you got that much hate for the guy? Like, come on now. There's a lot of people that I dislike in the world, but I will never dislike a person so much that I want him to lose their life. I will never do that. I will never do that. Because at the end of the day, and I'm a strong believer in this, when you wish people something like that, nine times out of 10, it ends up happening to you in the worst way, one day. One day. It's just people are so wrapped up in their feelings and their emotions about the whole thing. They're not even thinking straight. They're not thinking, they're not understanding the fact that this right here cannot be staged. So I'm guessing since he survived, so I'm guessing John F. Kennedy's was staged. No, believe it but or not, he didn't people survive. said, believe it or not, People said that that was stage two. And the man is dead. He's and dead. And people said that that was staged. <laughs> they got his autopsy on a, a website. No, he's, he's dead. dead. We all know he's dead. I'm saying people yeah. are saying that it was staged. Like people said that. 
Like, I, my, my thing is this. Do you people even sit, hear how silly you guys sound? You guys sound real silly thinking that this guy would stage his own death just to get presidency back in the White House. It's the most unthinkable thing. Like, why? He was already winning. Biden dug his own coffin at those debates. I know y'all seen the debates. The debates was terrible. Trump dog walked him and didn't even really have to do much. So I'm like, man, it, it, it's just, it, it's just so annoying at times. But at the same time, this is this is the world we live in. This is the world we live in. We wish these type of things on our worst enemies, but yet, but yet we got people out here who are doing 10 times worse, 10 times worse, 20 times worse, and we wish them all well. We wish them all well. Oh, we'll do break bread with these people. But you wishing death on this guy. What has he really done? How, I, I, I would like to know this, and please say this in the comment section. For all you people that don't like Trump, what has he really done that you don't like him that much? That you're willing to, that you're willing to watch him die. Exactly. <laughs> that you're willing to watch him die. Oh, oh, he don't like black people. Oh, he don't like, don't mention the obvious stuff because we already know these things already and all of them are false, okay? He might not address the things the way you wanna hear it, but he addresses them, okay? And that's much more than a lot of politicians. And I can't even call him a politician because technically he really isn't a politician. And that's the whole point because he doesn't handle things as a politician. He handled things as a businessman. So he really isn't a politician. He's just a businessman with political title, with a political title. Let me just say that. It's a couple of different things. Um, the whole thing about people saying about black, the black thing, Trump's a racist, Trump's this, any label that they could put on Trump, they're going to put on Trump. But Trump wasn't a racist when he was chilling with, with Diddy, Oprah, when he was chilling with all them people. When he was a Democrat, he wasn't a racist then. Because Trump was a lifelong Democrat before he became a Republican. That he wasn't is correct. a racist then. You know what I'm saying? That is correct. It, another thing, too, is he went from... So all these cases are getting thrown out or they're getting postponed. This does look like a last-ditch effort to get rid of him whether it's through uh the administration or whether it's through a lone gunman well people don't understand this when you put out rhetoric and you say certain things people follow that they're they're they they literally listen to you and they develop a visceral hate everybody that's black that don't like Trump developed a visceral hate for Trump after the Democrats have told them some things and made them feel that way. They didn't point out nothing that was different because when Trump was a Democrat, all that stuff happened the same time when he was a Democrat. When you saying that he didn't rent to black people in the seventies, he was a Democrat. Then when that happened, he wasn't a Republican. So the mass, uh, hypnosis that the Democrats have done to black people when it comes to Trump is a, it's astounding to me. It's it's amazing to see because a lot of black people don't like Trump because of what they were told. But when you go do research, you realize that half the stuff or good 90 percent of the stuff that they've been telling you is a lie. The good people on both sides. That's a lie. The shithole countries. He got that from, you guessed it, African people who said it was a shithole country. The thing about the Russia collusion and the Russia Russia hoax, that was a lie. The the uh when he when he said that uh um what is it? a couple other things he said. 
that people claim that he said was a lie. It's so much stuff that I could point out that Donald Trump has said. Now, don't get me wrong. He ain't a perfect man. He ain't perfect. And I'm not going to even compare by. I'm not going to talk about the things Biden said. We're just going to talk about Trump today. And for me, all of these cases are gone. They're, they're basically the classified documents case that Jack Smith was bringing. They dismissed that case. That case is over with. The Fannie Willis case, they just pushed that back to December. And they don't even know if she's going to even be on the case. That case is over with. The, 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 he was supposed to be convicted on, J on July 11th. They pushed that back. Now they don't know when they're going to convict them because the Supreme Court came back and said that as an active president during certain things, he has presidential immunity. He don't have full presidential immunity, but he has a piece of presidential immunity when, as under as as a president doing things that are constitutionally based as the commander in chief. He has presidential immunity. They had to push that case back. In that case. It had nothing to do with politics. That was a hush money case. That was from the eight, the, the 90s or whatever. So all these things are not working. 34 counts of a felony, right? All of those felonies are the same count. It's just, it's just multiple checks that were written. 34 checks. But see, people don't want to tell y'all this. Nobody wants to say this. Everybody wants to just say Trump's this or he's a felon. What's wrong with being a felon? Let's be honest. Felon. So were you telling me that the correction facilities that y'all tell, tell we should send people to is called the correction facility, right? So if you got to get corrected and you come out and you are a former felon or you are a felon, you telling me that they don't have the right to, to function in society? These people don't have the right to function in society because they're a felon. When you ever you talk about Donald Trump being a felon, you shitting on everybody that's ever been a felon. Everybody. Because you're basically saying that he's a felon and he's a loser like the rest of them. Oh, he committed a crime. What's wrong with, what's wrong with being a felon? I'm not saying that, that uh, felons are great or super the best people ever, but they deserve a chance like everybody else. Exactly. So you can't use that argument no more. That argument is dead. So all of these, all of this stuff that they're trying to paint and do, it all culminates to this one moment. They try to kill that man. You can say whatever you want. You can say it was staged. You can say whatever. Donald Trump did it. No matter what Donald Trump does, even if it's putting his life, they people will think that this man would put his life on a line. If he were willing to put his life on a line to become the president, to me, that's telling you something. If that's what the if that's the case, that he did all this to get back into the White House. Because guess what? And this, I'm gonna say this, and then either you could continue, or we could end this. We had four years of Trump and four years of Biden. Who was better? You could we could we could say we could say whatever you want to say, but you have to be honest. When you was under Trump, was you making more money? Was the country better? Was the country in a better state? Was gas prices low? I don't care if you try to say, well, it's because uh Obama. Obama gave him this. Guess what? Trump gave Biden this and Biden did. He destroyed it. You can't blame COVID on Trump. That was a pandemic. That's a worldwide thing. He had nothing to do with that. You can't blame it on him. They was trying to tie him to that. Everything that they try to do, it didn't work. What's the, what's the best thing to do that they think could work? Get some young guy. I'm not saying the Democrats did it. I'm just saying you could do something without doing it. You tell somebody something oh, over and over again and say it over and over again and, and, and say it without saying it. What you think is going to happen? 
know what I'm saying? Eventually, somebody's going to be brave enough to do something. Mm -hmm. And that's what happened. And then you mm -hmm. then you then you get on this on 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 uh TV or or whatever and and try to play like you there's no room for political violence in in our in our politics. There's no room for that. Now you look like a commander in chief because you're telling people to stand down. Don't do that. Trump hasn't physically said anything yet. He said it on true social, but he hasn't physically said nothing yet. When he do, the world gonna be watching. I'm telling you now. And if this was a setup, hey man, and to me, I don't think that I don't think that that somebody's gonna. If the if the guy if the wind would have blown the, the right way, he would have got his head blown off. Come on, bro. You, all right. I'm done with it, man. Done. Yeah. Um. Like I said, man. You know this this whole situation wasn't staged. It was real. You know what I mean? We y'all can y'all can try to spin it however you want. Y'all can try to. Make like this guy's the most evilest person on the planet. It wasn't staged. It wasn't staged. You can't have casualties when it comes to staging something. If you staging, if you staging all, if all, if he's staging all those things that happened, that's pathetic. Because there was no need for him to. Like I said, he was winning already. You know. But but but, but no need to cut you off. But people think that people think that because of somebody made a mistake, they make they they try to correlate that to something being staged, or somebody wasn't doing their job, so they correlate that to somebody it being staged. Like like for example, like let's say somebody made a mistake and not checked the building, right? Then they'll say, "See, it was staged," because he said when it comes to the Secret Service and all these people. People look at them as if they're supposed to be perfect. They don't supposed to do nothing wrong, nothing. And listen, let me explain something to y'all. We all human. Things happen. Things happen. We all human. So yep. oh, he got shot in the ear, and the first thing he did was, uh, jump on the ground, and then he gonna get up, and if you get shot, you ain't gonna raise your fist. You ain't Donald Trump. Yeah. Cause I can almost guarantee you, if Trump would have got shot, if Trump would have got shot in the mouth, he would have did the same exact thing. Yeah, he uh, they said they said he was looking for his shoe. He lost his shoe, and was looking for his shoe when uh, when he's getting uh, escorted off the uh, stage or whatever. They say Trump's he was from New York. For his shoe. Let's be clear here. He never been no bitch. Trump never been a bitch. I don't know why y'all. I don't. This is what you put in the title, bro. When you do this thumbnail, Trump never been a bitch. I don't know why y'all <laughs> think that this man. He never been a bitch. Hey, yo. I ain't never seen Trump get punked. Ever. Would you, have yeah, you ever seen true. it? Nah, I never so seen it. So what makes bro. you think that if he never been a bitch, if he gets shot, he gonna be like, fuck that. Yeah. That's right. I'm still here. You think Trump wouldn't do that? I agree with you. Trump never been no bitch. That's all I'm going to say. So all you people saying that he did this on purpose and all this, and he wouldn't have did that if he got shot. He never been no bitch. <laughs> I never seen Trump get punked or never been. A, he never been a bitch. So guess what? He would have did that. That's just it, man. Mm -hmm. But I don't know. Mm -hmm. Got anything else, man? Nah, we out. We out. Hey, man. Y'all lady, we out of here. Peace. Bye.